Hello everybody, this is Kumar Mohit. I'm a student of medicine here at University of Perpetual Health System, Delta, Jonelta Foundation School of Medicine. So today I'm going to demonstrate you how to examine our skeletal muscles, means the uh, sometimes we got the, some chief complaints from the uh, patients like that uh, that I have pain in my shoulder due to some overweight exercise or something or uh, due to some torn of ligament or uh, uh, other muscles so uh, we can go these kind of the complaints so for that we have to just examine the skeletal muscles especially uh, in this a video we are going to examine the three main part like first one is the shoulder then we will go for the wrist and the hand complete examination and then we will go for the knee examination so in this examination first of all i want to tell you that we will go for the first we have to do the uh, uh, inspection means we have to inspect it uh, we have to just uh, go for uh, figuring out is there any visible deformities is there any kind of the contour is there any kind of the uh, uh, asymmetry uh, uh, in the body uh, so we have to just examine that is there any swelling or the edema inside the joints or not so uh, we have to just find out we have to inspect it properly and then we will go for the palpation we have to just palpate the uh, all the uh, joints and the bones uh, which are related to the joints and the, then we will go for the free rotation or the uh, movement of the muscles rotations of the muscles like for for example if you are going to exa uh, examine the shoulder then we have to go for the rotator cuff muscles test or uh, we will we are going to follow so many other maneuvers as well like uh, uh, phalanx test uh, for the wrist and then other maneuvers so for today's demonstration i have one of my good friend mr narinda so he will just uh, become patient for my this demonstration so do I have permission to examine your skeletal muscles like uh, your shoulder your knee and uh, wrist and hand yes okay so thank you so much for giving me permission after doing all hand hygiene and the sanitization uh, we are gonna examine and I'll demonstrate you how to do that so we will begin with the first examination that's the shoulder examination so for that first of all we have to know little bit about the anatomy of the shoulder that we will get it that here is started with the clavicular external clavicular joint okay so this clavicle will go and join with the acromion of the scapula and form a cavity okay and in that cavity we will just uh, that uh, humeral bone of our arm just fit in that cavity okay so with the help of the acromion and the clavicle and the humerus we have the joint this one is the shoulder joint so this is a free rotating joint or the ball and socket joint okay so let's go and demonstrate i'll demonstrate so for the shoulder joint we have to follow the first step like the inspection so we will inspect is there any kind of the deformities or asymmetry is there any kind of the bulging out or the inflammation in the shoulder? No. We have to check backside as well properly. Okay. We didn't get any kind of the deformities or the asymmetry, any, any kind of the contour we didn't find out. Now we will go for the second step, that's the palpation. So we will start from here, sternoclavicular joint. Then we will go laterally on the clavicle we have to palpate it properly and try to find out is there any kind of the deformities check out the acromion as well from the scapula this one is the acromion clavicular joint go for the greater trunclear of the humerus Palpate it. Will you please uh, make your hand like this? Okay. So we have to examine it or we have to palpate it properly. Now for the starting for the evaluation of the range of motion of the shoulder, we have to just follow the six steps. So for that first one, uh, you have to follow me what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, we are gonna do first one is the flexion of the arm or the flexion of the shoulder joint so for that you have to just raise your hand like this and then overhead 
you have to tell me if you are feeling any pain okay then come down okay down okay now we are gonna for the uh, extension so for that what you have to do you have to go just put your arm like at the back try to push it at the back okay do you feel any pain while doing no. this no okay now for the third one is the abduction so for the abduction you have to do this and then go for the overhead down do you feel any pain no down okay now for the adduction for the adduction you have to curl cross arm over the chest okay okay do you feel any pain no if you feel any pain while doing this please stop me okay so sure, now for the internal rotation you have to just touch your scapulae opposite scapulae with your hand so opposite one okay you can touch it did you uh, did you feel any pain no no okay now for the external rotation you have to fold or flex your arm and then open it and then go up do you feel any pain while doing this no no okay so this these were the six steps we have to just check for the range of motion of the shoulder so further for the more or the best examination of the shoulder joint we are going to follow some special maneuvers in the series of that first we are going to do the crossover test so in this crossover test what we have to do we're going to examine or the assess the acromion and the clavicular joint so in the acromion clavicular joint okay here is the acromion clavicular joint so what you have to do you have to flex your hand and go for the cross arm like this okay so this one do you feel any pain while doing this no so a little back no pain no pain okay so if our patient is feeling pain while doing this cross or so that's positive test for the second one in the series that's the apply scratch test so for that we have to instruct our patient actually this one is for the uh, proper and the uh, complete shoulder joint so what you have to do you have to just touch your opposite scapula like we have done previously like this okay and for the upside as well do you feel any pain while doing this no, no pain no. okay just come down so this one uh, we have done with the apple scratch test and my patient is negative for this test if the patient is feeling pain while doing this uh, so that's the positive test for that so now we are gonna do one more test uh, that's the knees impingement sign so for that we have to put one of our hand here and the scapula so that we can restrict the movement of the scapula and this test is basically for the rotator cuff and the acromion joint okay so what we have to do we have to just take our patient's hand and then we have to go for the overhead do you feel any pain no no so sometimes for the some uh, we have to, we can go for the medial rotation and then we will go for the overhead do you feel any pain no no so my patient is negative for this test so if the patient is feeling the pain while doing this test so this is the positive test for them so now we are going for the next test this is the hawking's impediment test or hawking's impediment sign so for that what we have to do actually this one is for the acromion or the subacromion a pain if that is positive for the patient or the rotator cuff as well okay so what we have to do we have to just okay then we have to internally rotate it do you feel any pain no so if our patient is feeling any pain while doing this test then it's positive for that now we are going to go further for the another test that's the drop arm test so for that we have to ask our patient to fully abduct the arm and then drop it slowly okay we have to check it so will you please full do it like this and then slowly okay did you feel any pain no no so this one is the drop arm test if the patient is feeling any pain while doing this then it's the signs of somewhere uh, related to the deltoid muscles and the uh, related to the rotator cuff as well okay so now for the next set that's the empty can test so for that uh, we have to know that this test is for the supraspinatus or the infraspinatus muscles that's the part of the rotator cuff so what you have to do you have to just just put the forward your hand please and then thumbs down thumbs down 
Okay, now I'll just put some pressure over, ha over your hand and you have to resist it. Okay, do you feel any pain while doing this? No. So just we have finished with the shoulder examination. Now we are going to for the next examination that's the for the wrist and the complete hand examination. So for that we will also follow the same step like for the inspection. So first of all will you please do your hand. We have to inspect the hand properly. Is there any visible deformities? Is there any nodules in the hand? Okay, we didn't find out any kind of the... We have one scar here. I have been already discussed with the patient about it. So that was a minor surgery. Okay, so we didn't get any kind of the other deformities in the hand. So after this, we have to palpate. So what we have to palpate? We have to palpate the joints like the radial, ulna radial and the uh, carpal joint. So here we have to palpate this. This side is the radial. For the different condyles of the radial. Carpal and radial joint. We have to find out is there any kind of the nodules or the other inflammation or something. Now for the metacarpals. Just palpate the proper. Okay. Now for the after the metacarpal, we will go for the metacarpal and the phalangeal joint here. Okay. Then these are the proximal interphalangeal joints. Check it out properly. Then the distal interphalangeal joints as well. Okay. And do you have any pain in this area? No. No? Okay. So that was the part of the palpation. Now we are going for the different kind of the motion uh, which are related to the radial and the ulnar uh, bone or the ulnar, radial ulnar and the carpal joint. And for the wrist joint as well, we will do the flexion and the extension and then for the phalanges as well okay so let's go for that so will you please do your wrist down like this okay flexion of the wrist then up okay did you feel any pain while doing this no no okay relax now after extension and the flexion of the wrist now we are going to for the abduction and adduction so first of all make a fist okay now just try to make it inward inward okay then extra uh, outward okay did you feel any pain while doing this no once we'll do flexion and extension once again did you feel any pain no no we are going for the once the movement of this uh, radial and the ulnar muscle uh, bone as well for the internal rotation the external rotation okay did you feel pain no no okay now with this we have to go for the sensation test so for that open your hand so for this one did you feel any sensations or the pain I feel sensations okay you're feeling the touch okay now between the thumb and the index finger we have the radial nerve sensations here did you feel pain uh, yeah. sensations yes yeah, sensations. okay so means your sensory part is also fine and this one was for the ulna and this one was for the radial so now we are going to follow some special maneuvers for the testing of the hand and the wrist examination so first one is the hand grip strength so i'm gonna give my fingers to the uh, patient and i'll just instruct him to just uh, squeeze him as much as you can okay so I'm gonna test your fingers strength so you have to just squeeze it pressurize it how much you can as much as you can okay okay very good so that was for the hand grip strength test so there is no problem did you feel any pain or anything while doing this no, no. okay now for the next test, that's the finkel strain test. This test is basically for the wrist pain. So what you have to do, you have to just put your thumb inside the palm and you have to close, make the proper fist, okay? And you have to, we're gonna rotate it for the ulnar deviation, okay? 
and you have to adjust it a little bit do you feel any pain no no so that was for the wrist pain test okay so now for the next test that's the thumb abduction test actually we know that the thumb is at the radial side so the radial nerve so actually this test is basically for the carpal tunnel test so what you have to do you have to abduct your thumb like this okay just look at this and then i'll just put some resistance over here and you have to resist it okay approach my pressure so what you have to do okay do you feel any pain while doing this no no pain no pain okay so the my patient is negative for this test now we are going to do the next step this is the tunnel test so actually this test is basically for the medial nerve compression uh, as we know that the medial nerve we have here medial nerve we have to tap over the medial nerve and we have to ask our patient that is he or she is feeling any pain or the any tickling or something while tapping okay you have to tell me if you are feeling did you feel any pain or any a sensation or any tickles while just no. in the second third finger no no okay so my patient is negative for this tunnel test so next test is again for the medial nerve compression actually this is the phalen test so what you have to do you have to do it your opposite hand opposite surface of your hand like this okay you have to put it like this and you have to tell me that do you feel any pain or not okay so just do it put the opposite surface of your hand like this a little outward till downward do you feel any pain while doing this no no comfortable yes okay so that's was all the phalen test so my patient is not feeling any pain for the medial nerve so i think this one is negative okay good. so with that we can also do the another test that's the reverse phalen test that the opposite of the phalen test we have done in phalen test like this opposite surface but the other reverse phalen test we have to just do it like this okay okay so just do it proper okay did you feel any pain no no okay put it down so my patient is negative for the reverse phalen test as well with that all tests i have done uh, with the wrist and the hand examination so now we will proceed for the another examination for the knee so now we will go for the knee examination so now we are going to examine for the knee so may we have to make sure that our patient should be lie down in the supine position okay and uh, we are going to follow the same procedure like first of all we are going to inspect it we have to inspect it properly is there any kind of the deformity or the asymmetry on the knee or any kind of the bulging or the uh, inflammation over the knee we didn't get any kind of the things okay now we are going to for the palpation so we have to palpate the knee joint as we know this one is the synovial joint so might be we will get the more fluid or the excess of the fluid over here below the patella or beside the patella we have to check out the medial condyle and the lateral condyle as well is there any kind of the you know gap between that as we know this one is the joint between the tibia and the femur and tibia fibula and the femur okay so we have to palpate it properly did you feel any kind of the pain while i was palpating no no okay so we have done with that now we are going for further examination of the knee joint so now we are going to examine the knee for the range of motion of the knee so for that we will follow the flexion and the uh, extension abduction and the adduction as well okay so what you have to do you have to just lift the leg okay extend it properly okay down did you feel any pain while doing this no no now what you have to do okay adduction now abduction okay did you feel any pain while doing this no no pain okay okay relax and now we are going to for the some special maneuvers which are uh, for the examination of the knee joint okay so in this series first one is the bulging test so what we have to do we have to just, as we know this one is the synovial joint so might be extra liquid found over here so we have to just press it medially upward okay and then we have to just press laterally downward and we have to observe is there any kind of the bulging on the medial side no 
we have to do it once more not at all so this one was the bulging test but that's negative for my patient sometimes it's positive for the older patients because there is more and the synovial fluid in the joint so now we are going to for the next test that's the bulleting the patella and this is also known as the patella tap test so what we are going to do we have to put one of our hand here above the patella and one lower supra superior to the patella and the inferior to the patella and we have to compress it like this and now we have to tap the patella we have to feel is there any kind of the bulging or any kind of the you know liquid uh, and the patella is floating or not okay so that one was the patellar tap test now we are gonna do perform the McMary test for the knee so now what we have to do we have to put one of our hand here and one at the ankle lift it a bit now we have to rotate the leg for actually this test is mainly for the medial and the lateral meniscus okay so for the medial meniscus we have to rotate it at the lateral side please tell me if you feel any kind of the pain and for the lateral meniscus we have to rotate it at the medial side do you feel any pain no no so my patient is negative for the this test as well so for the next test we are going to do the various stress test that's for the lcl means the lateral crucial ligament so now what we have to do we have to put our one hand here near the our knee joint and one hand at the ankle and we have to push the uh, knee towards the medial side Now we are going to do the next test, that's the opposite of the previous test. This one for the medial cruciate ligament and uh, this is known as the valgus test. This, okay. So what we are going to do, we have to put it like this, see. And now this time because this is for the lateral LCL, so we have to just take it laterally. Do you feel any pain? No. No? Again, do you feel any pain? No. No, okay. So that one, my patient is negative for this test as well. Now we are going to do the another test that's the Legman test for the knee. So what we are going to do we have to just put one of our hand to fix the femur and for the another hand we have to put it here and we have to rotate it laterally little bit okay hold it here and then we have to just hold the tibia and we have to just see the is there any tibial transmission while we are pulling it okay so we didn't get any kind of the deformity so my patient did negative for this Lachman test as well now the next test for the knee is the anterior drawer test so what we have to do we have to just put our patient's leg like this actually this test is basically for the ligaments and the uh, uh, is there any transmission between the uh, femur and the tibia okay so for the more pressure we have to put sit on the foot of the patient and then we have to hold it from here and now we have to pull it towards us means this side so this is the anterior drawer test so what we have to do we have to check out that the movement or the transmission of the tibia and the femur should not be more than 6 mm and if it's more than 6 mm then for sure we have some deformity inside this joint so this one was the for the anterior drawer test so my patient is negative for this anterior drawer test we have to also find out that is there any kind of the soft and sound or uh, soft sound inside the joint okay now we are going to do the last maneuver for the knee examination that's the posterior so for that we have to put our patient's leg like this only and then we have to again sit on the foot and then this time we have to just press it or push it uh, in the posterior side okay so this one is the posterior drawer test and we have to notice the this same the transmission of the femur and the uh, transmission of the tibia that should not be more than 3 mm 
and we have to just uh, look out that is there any kind of the soft and sound or the soft and okay so we have to do it so we didn't get any kind of the deformities over here okay so my patient is negative for this posterior drawer test as well so for the purpose of the documentation we are going to summarize our all examination uh, i have just uh, demonstrate or the examine a patient of 23 years old mr narinder and i didn't find out any kind of the deformities any kind of the asymmetric any kind of the bulging or the inflammation over the joints i have palpated and uh, as we know we have examined the three main structures like first one is the shoulder joint then for the wrist and the hand joint and then for the knee joint as well i didn't find out any kind of the uh, inflammation over there any kind of the displacement or the you know miss uh, you know joint of uh, femur or tibia or anything so my patient is fit and fine so thank you so much for watching this video bye bye